Hey everybody, what's up? It's Awesome AJ. We're here. Or what the? Get oh, freaking. Don't need you. Go away. So that was weird. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, joining today. Don't even know what's happening. Ah, we're playing more Far Cry 5. Dead living zombies. Got it right that time. We beat the last pitch, as you can see. This pitch is fucking done. In the new pitch, we have burned bridges. So we are going to check out this pitch. See if it's any better. Last one was pretty basic, just like what uh he said. So yeah, let's see if this one's any good. Boom. But the last one wasn't terrible, but it kind of reminded me of uh that Left 4 Dead map, the Dead Harvest, I think. Something like that. Plane crashes in field. Oh, I just realized the loading screens that. Oh, never mind. Uh, Guy Marvel. Huge fan of your award winning character driven war movies. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, hey, how about making one that's so intense it'll give the audience PTSD? Get ready for the best elevator pitch ever given in an elevator. Picture this an elite spec ops team. They're fucking lighting up the undead on a dilapidated bridge. They're isolated, surrounded by water, but they give no fucks because they're the best. Yeah, we fucking rock! Eat shit, zombie scum! <laughs> Killing zombies? Yeah, they can do that all day. With the right support, of course. But sometimes, support box up. Supporting. Oops. You guys dropped us on the wrong side! I'll send my guys ahead! We're gonna need ammo! What happens when the bullets run dry and mission annihilation turns into mission survival I only way we're gonna live is by surviving. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Or the enemies already dead? That's half interesting. Our hero has to get to the ammo drop, or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this. Hmm. This is exactly like Left 4 Dead. Imagine the 405 and the 101 fucked each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess I could go this way. This one weird bridge. MP5, nice. No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, I see what you did here. Oh my. I didn't realize these things were here. Oh 
Don't they close once? That's another one. There we go. All right. So, a gas truck leaked gas, and now it's a road of fire, baby. But what does this mean to the hero? The, the fire represents the, the, their anger issues. It's, instead of dealing with it, they're they're avoiding it. Okay. Oh, this is why they called it Burn Bridges. Huh. Ooh, LMG. Okay, so then there's a flipped train. <gasps> Wait a minute. It's a, it's a fucking flipped gas tanker. <laughs> the, the explosion will make people shit themselves. <laughs> Is there a way to show something about the main character? We are! They know how to explode things. Oh, I thought it broke for a second. Huh? Oh, looks like that. Actually, I need ammo. The hero's gotta find a way down. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and <laughs> the bridge. In my career. You say something? Nope. Now, the hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss. Or they can just use a cool grappling hook! Okay, I see the problem with Guy Marvel. He just wants crazy action. But everyone else wants character development. So that's the problem with this guy. And Everything makes sense. Sees a giant cage. What was in it? Maybe the cage can remind the hero of their time as a prisoner of war. Sure. And the zombies here represent, I, I, I don't know, the, the, the people they saw die. Interesting. Alright, so Guy Marvel just wants unnecessary action, and everyone else just wants this character de development plot. I think makes sense now. Right here, the hero sees that a zombie has turned their buddy into an all you can eat buffet. And how does this make the character feel? So hopefully, it grows the fuck out. I need that shotgun. Where'd it go? Didn't they technically already have zombies because of the bliss? I mean, making a zombie mode is just like, why? Right here. Oh, this is creepy. Keep filing down here, they're just gonna keep dying. Tap. Tap.
Jesus. Ugh. Okay, so the hero has to cut through a homeless hideout inside the bridge. Zombies are there having a freaking zombie feast! What are you trying to say here about the homeless issue? Ah, uh, that homelessness is, is bad. Really going out on a limb with that, huh? But look, homelessness is a real important issue for me. I want everyone in the world to have a home and a shelf filled with Blu-rays of all the movies I make. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right. Jesus. Wow, they really gave up on the outside, didn't they? And then the main character gets to the ammo drop, and there's da -da -da! <laughs> a new gun! One more character? How about a fucking zombie Sasquatch character? Boom! Plot twist! <laughs> In your bite your face, zombie! Oh my god. Why? Why? I'm screwed. Oh. Duel with a monster. No, our hero sees a way out. I guess I'll take the car. Actually, backing up would be cooler. It... Or losing the car completely. The heck's wrong with it? Oh, they just don't want me taking it. Um, I don't know. I don't. More zombies. All right. A lot of them come into the. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm super screwed. Explosion here, explosion there. God. I think I need to get through them. Ow. So the hero sees a checkpoint. It's the end. Or is it? Ba -ba -da 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 what does our hero find at the end? Another soldier who sees our hero as just another zombie. Bam! Headshot! Roll credits. I'm gonna pass. Seems heavy on the action and light on character development. Speaking of development, huh? How about a development deal? How about you leave now and I won't press charges? Ah. <sighs> 
Uh, I will say that one was definitely better than the last one, but yeah, just like what whoever that guy was, it, there's no character development, just too much action. But anyway, that one's done. Next one's Undying Live Love. Hope to see you there. See you guys next time.